Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer results from the January 2022 survey. I'm Jim Minter, director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer declined six points this month to a reading of 119. That's down from 125 last month and well below where it was this time last year. The decline in the barometer this month was really driven primarily by a decline in the index of current conditions, which declined to a reading of 133 versus 146 a month earlier. There was almost no change at all in the index of future expectations, coming in at a reading of 112 versus 114 a month earlier. The Farm Financial Performance Index declined sharply this month to a reading of 83 versus 113 a month earlier. However, the results this month were heavily influenced by the fact that this month producers were asked to compare 2022 to 2021, whereas in December they were comparing 2021 to 2020. This month's reading really indicates that producers expect 2022 performance to be significantly below where it was in 2021. The Farm Capital Investment Index declined slightly this month to a reading of 45 compared to 49 a month earlier. But if you look at the index, it's really being heavily influenced by the supply chain disruptions that have taken place. 43% of the producers in this month's survey say that their purchase plans are still being impacted by low farm machinery inventory levels. Problems with supply chain disruptions extend beyond just farm machinery. 28% of corn and soybean producers in this month's survey say they've had difficulty purchasing inputs for the 2022 crop. Inputs they've had trouble purchasing range from herbicides to insecticides to fertilizer, as well as farm machinery parts. Nitrogen is a key input for corn production, and prices for nitrogen have tripled since this time last year. When we asked producers what their plans were for the use of nitrogen on the 2022 crop versus 2021, nearly 4 out of 10, 37%, said they plan to reduce the rate of nitrogen they apply to the 2022 corn crop. For the third month in a row, the long-term farmland value expectation index declined, this month to a reading of 145, down seven points from last month's reading of 152, and well below its peak reading of 161 from last fall. We followed up with the producers that said they expect to see farmland values rise over the next five years, and asked them what the main reason was they expected to see an increase in values. 45% of them said it was because of non-farm investor demand, and 32% said it was because of inflationary pressure. That wraps up our discussion of the January 2022 Purdue Ag Economy Barometer. For more details, you can visit our website, purdue.edu slash agbarometer, and you can also get more details on our podcast, the Purdue Commercial Agcast. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.